have the very great honor of introducing Dr. Angela Carr. People are drawn to Angela for so many reasons. Her personality, her smile, her openness. She is that special individual who is never too busy to lend assistance or guidance or just a friendly ear. Angela places everyone's needs paramount to her own. As she walks down a hallway, you cannot help but notice how often people will stop her to say hello, to thank her, or to ask her advice. If one is measured by the number of people one has touched and helped, then she is truly rich beyond anyone's imagination. She feels blessed that she has been able to accomplish so much. She is modest and feels these are gifts bestowed upon her by God. The number of children she has delivered over the years is mind-boggling and she takes great pride in placing each one's picture in frames adorning her office. Angela works extremely long hours, of course. This is what the specialty demands. But it is a pace that few can sustain or tolerate. The price she and her family have paid to support her dedication is enormous. But she is who she is, in large part, to the understanding and sacrifices that her family has made. We have worked together for over 33 years. She's a superb program director and has weathered countless challenges and changes in that role. She excels in encouraging residents, attendings, nurses, and staff to work cooperatively. Angela stays current with research to ensure that her patients receive the very best care. They said if you look hard enough in the world, you are bound to find a duplicate of yourself. In Angela's case, I find that hard to believe because she demonstrates such a unique blend of experience, knowledge, capability, and caring. A hearty congratulations to Angela Denise Carr, physician, educator, administrator, friend, and all around great person. If you don't know her, I hope tonight you will see her through our eyes and that you will begin to understand the tremendous gifts and value that every day she brings to her patients, the hospital staff, and the Brooklyn Hospital Center.